today I have the pleasure of speaking with Trevor Dirksen from ePlay Digital. How are you today, Trevor? I'm excellent. Hi, Tracy. I've been following you for a while because you offer, it's my understanding, the coolest fitness platform ever, Clocked. Tell us a little bit about Clocked and how it's doing right now. Sure. Clocked is a real time, I'll emphasize real time, 3D, emphasize 3D audio, better emphasize audio, visual version of, of an app like Strava. A lot of people that run or cycle know Strava. They have about 100 million users. Strava functions as a social network. Uh, for for those athletes, those cyclers, those runners, those cyclists, those runners, and it, and it and it basically helps you between your runs and your your uh, your activities to compare performance and improve your own performance across your social network, your Strava social network. So Clock says, okay, let's take that what Strava is doing, integrate Strava, and help you improve during your activity. And we do this in a number of ways with sports science, with 3D visualization, with spectators of motivation, with inspiration, with coaches. We bring all of that to the platform really to motivate you to a, a new personal best. Okay. So speaking of motivating people to their personal best, a lot of investors out there looking at ePlay Digital. There's a lot of companies out there vying for all of our attention. Can you tell us one of the three top reasons why you are competitive on that tarmac right now, Trevor. Product, product and marketplace. Um, it's, it's real, it's working, it's making money, it has real users. We've gone back to those users, our first batch, our first 20,000 users and said, uh, what are we getting right and what are we getting wrong? We're getting that feedback. So we're not doubling down on our, on our mistakes. Um, and uh, they're, they're telling us exactly what we need to do to make it more real for them to help them improve their performance and, and to help improve that, that product and, and thereby our, our marketing so that we're, we get that messaging right. So that, that's, a re that's a really important piece to us is, is you know, it, we're, we're real and it's working and we're, we're asking folks how to make it better. I think this, the second reason, if I can, I don't know if I can call it the third, but a second is really we're we're in a we're in a space that I think is interesting to a lot of people. It's the next generation of the internet. It's the metaverse. It's real time. It's three D. It's perpetual. It's all the things that clocked is. And anybody who thinks about metaverse and then thinks about what's a good example will come up with different use cases. Um, and one of the use cases that makes the most sense to people when they think about it is physical activity. You take a step in the real world and your avatar, you, you move through the virtual world. That just makes sense to people. And, and I think it even, I think they've inculcated it. I know I have, and I joke about this with a lot of people. If you're a Fitbit user, if you're an Apple watch user, you've gone through this experience. You felt this experience. You've done your walk without your watch. You've gone for your hike and you forgot your watch and you say to yourself, it didn't happen because you don't have the data. You're joke. You're joking, of course, but it feels a little too real for it to be a full joke. And what's happening there to me, what I interpret that is, is the real world was meaningless almost without the virtual world and the data and the, and, and the visualization and the tracking that your watch does for you. And to me, that, that emotion that people have when they forget their watch on their hike or run, that's, that means they're ready for the metaverse. That means they're in, they're in the metaverse. Um, and we just need to bring them all the way there. And of course, this is a very hot market. And I, I was reading this, this market is called Hot Runners. Is that correct? <laughs> yeah, of course. I don't know because I'm not a hot runner. <laughs> but, um, well, but there are hot runners. I've seen I, I'm citing some st statistics I was reading and researching before this interview. It says hot, the hot runner market is intended to be a four plus billion dollar market by 2026. And you described your market as a, a couch to 5k runners segment. Is that correct? Can you comment on this, uh, this exploding marketplace? Certainly, you know, so um, the couch to 5k market are, are people that want to go for a run for the first time, or maybe the first time in a long while, maybe they've, um, uh, they've finished university, and they now have time again on their hands, maybe they've had a child, and that child is in a stroller, and they can take the child in the stroller for a run. Um, or maybe their kids just gone off to university for the first time, and they found time again, and so couch to 5k. And of course, um, uh, you know, we target from a business to business point of view, that's a good uh, target for us to 
um, to focus on from a, a B2C point of view, but from a business to business point of view, where, where the most runners hang out at once and the easiest way to address them are through mass participation events. And those, some, your first marathon, your first half marathon, your first 10K, your first competition, or maybe it's your 10th competition and you're trying to achieve a personal best, you're trying to create a placement. We have a function inside of Clock that nobody else has. Um, and, and, and I love it. I, I've needed it over and over again. Is I hear, when I, hear, when I have my headphones on, I'm using Clock and, and I've got the data from the mass participation events, um, what place I'm in. And what speed, I, what pace I need to achieve or how much faster I need to run to, to capture a, a medal, to get third place, to get second place, to, to get first place. And not everybody knows this, but uh, you know, a, a, a lot of these events, the 10Ks, the marathon events, they're separated into divisions. My division is a slower division than the people younger than me. And so I can't tell how old the people are around me to tell if I'm, if I'm running competitively or not. It's impossible. We don't have that information at the, the fanciest, most expensive, the, the, the highest profile events. I don't know what I need to do to achieve a, a third place. And clock, clock tells us that. And, it's, it's, and I find that to be one of the best use cases for the more, let's say the more advanced runners, um, you know, not the coach to 5k folks, but, you know, 18 weeks from now when they're ready to run their marathon. So Trevor, thank you so much for an update on ePlay Digital and for everybody out there at Investor Intel Land, please go to their website. You can download uh, Clock to free there, is that correct? Absolutely, it's free app. Hey, thank you so much for giving us an update on the coolest fitness platform ever clocked from ePlay Digital. Thank you, Trevor. Thank you.